much. So we got kind of sidetracked in the last video, but we're back and we're focused. If you guys remember in the last video, I mentioned that the only thing left for the quad to run and roll is a new wheel. So I was able to find one on eBay, a decent used one. So I picked that up. That should be here by the end of the week. But in the meantime, there's still two major things to get done on the quad. First is the exhaust. It's covered in rust. Some spots so bad that it actually rusted through the metal. So there's a few holes in the exhaust. So we're gonna have to sand the whole thing down, patch the holes and paint it. I've been dreading this for a long time because I know it's gonna be dirty as fuck and it's gonna take a long time to get that done. But I'm just gonna sack up and get it done tonight. The other thing is the plastics. Um, I have a few cracks to fix from the wreck and I'm also planning a different color. So we're gonna have to strip off the old camo green and prep it for the new color. Right now we're gonna go try to find something that we can use to patch up those holes in the exhaust, pick a different color, and then we'll head back to the garage and most likely pull an all-nighter. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through sanding footage. So I'm not gonna lie, last night was rough. Um, I was sanding all night long. I got rust everywhere, my hair, my face, my teeth. It wasn't enjoyable to say the least, but uh, we got it done. Now you may be asking why I did all that work when I could have just bought another exhaust system. Um, well, aftermarket exhaust systems are like 500 bucks and slightly used OEM exhaust for these things are like 350. So considering I'm a frugal bastard, I was able to fix this one for 23 bucks. As far as the holes go, I was able to find this stuff from JB Weld called Steel Stick. Um, you just cut up what you need and then you just knead it into a uniform color and then just apply it to wherever you need to patch. Um, it worked out good. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but those holes are plugged up now. Then I just wiped her down and gave each piece of the exhaust system about three coats of high heat paint. I mean, this thing was pitted. It came out pretty good. The only thing is I gotta be careful uh, because it does need heat to activate. So it'll scratch up pretty easily. I already had a mishap. Um, I dropped it. So I gotta be careful. Once it's on the quad, um, it'll heat up and activate and it'll harden. So it came out pretty good. There's the patch. Again, not the prettiest thing in the world, but it fixed the issue. So, so now we're gonna move on to the plastics. Um, we're gonna remove them. I'll probably dig out the power washer and get all the crud off there, the mud and stuff. And then strip off the old camo paint and prep it for the new paint. Seriously, I can't begin to express how relieved and happy I am that this bullshit is finally over with. I knew it was gonna be an unbearable, grueling, lengthy process to get that shit done. And you know what? It feels great, motherfucker, yeah.
about an hour. Um, I have since changed, and in case you're wondering, yes, I have two of these identical shirts, and I hate vodka. So yeah, um, I have a turbo nozzle that came with the power washer that I never used before, because uh, I was too scared to use it on my car, but it actually throws the water into a spiral, and uh, it actually was pretty effective. It got the paint off of the plastic and got it down to the bare color of the plastic, which is awesome. So I don't have to do as much work anymore. Um, there is some spots that weren't able to come off that I'll need to put some elbow grease in and take care of that. But majority of these plastics have been stripped, so that's pretty awesome. So we're gonna work on these few patches and then fix the cracks. plastic or something. I'm just gonna leave them on there, uh, primer over it, hopefully it'll be okay. Um, as you see, it's all dull now. Um, that's what the internet said to do, so I'm gonna take the internet's word for it. So these two are scotch brighted. This other piece that uh, covers the air box, I was a little aggressive with the sandpaper choice. Um, Hopefully these scratches don't show through the primer, but it is what it is. This piece is fucked anyway, so hopefully the primer will will fix that. But yeah, so now I guess I'll rinse them off. Uh, probably shouldn't have put the power washer away. I'm an idiot. All right, so I washed them down with soap and water. Now we're gonna mask the headlights and tail light, wipe everything down with mineral spirits, and lay down some paint. What was I do with today? on there. Um, I did run out halfway through it so I had to go get some more. I used a total of four cans. This stuff sprays pretty good. Um, it did cover up the scratches. There is very slight tiger striping. I'm hoping when I lay down the color it'll cover that up. But we'll wait till next video to reveal that. Yeah. 